Well, Ronald came home one evening and said to his Mary Lou, Tomorrow night, instead of finger licking chicken, let's have us an old fashioned stew. Let's have us an old fashioned stew. In the fridge, there's beef from Australia. Picked it up from the market today. It's labelled choice and you'll love it. Hop to it and start right away. Hop to it and start right away. Next night, after much preparation, old Ronald sat down to his stew and his nostrils started wrinkling. The aroma, it didn't ring true. The aroma, it didn't ring true. As a fact of life, it's known now, and we all know it's true. Oh, the Colonel put the licking in the chicken, but who put the roux in the stew? Who, who, who put the roux in the stew? Well, I rang a pal Mal in Australia. Hey, Mal, who put the roux in the stew? His reply was, I wish I could find him, because he went and put horse in mine too. He went and put horse in mine too. That bloke who said horses are for courses, must have looked in a crystal ball. Cos these days your main course has them, and you don't know they're in there at all. You don't know they're in there at all. As a fact of life it's known now, and we all know it's true. Oh, the Colonel put the licking in the chicken, but who put the roux in the stew? Who, who, who put the roux in the stew? Who put the roux in the stew? Who put the roux in the stew? All right now, I know. Who put the roux in the stew? I want to know who put the roux in the stew. Now I don't mind fresh meat, but this one's popping all over the bloody table. I mean, it's really.